I was devastated to hear the news last night of a deadly shooting in Lewiston, Maine. I know the entire Senate stands behind our colleagues, Senator Collins and Senator King, as they help their state marshal its response. We pray especially for the victims of this senseless violence, for their families and for the law enforcement personnel working tirelessly to save lives and bring the suspect to justice. There are some fundamentals that we should all agree on. Serious background checks to keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. Uh, an effort to keep the guns away from people who are uh, it's in some way impaired, some red flag situation. Those are the starting points. I would go much further when it comes to assault weapons and other things. But you have to look at the reality of the political scene in, in Washington and realize that it's horrendous as, uh, this occurrence in Maine. Uh, it is not likely to lead to really significant change. I think there's still the possibility that we can reconvene our bipartisan gun violence prevention group, which has taken moderate steps, but it will be difficult given the far-right extremist speaker who's just been chosen in the House. Do you think there's any chance that the Senate can pass any legislation? Well, we've already passed legislation helping states with... Uh, you know, uh, red flag type laws. So the common theme here is mental health, right? The guy's in the hospital for a couple of weeks. How did the Army Reserve unit not know about this? That's what, I, that's what, how did he stay in the Army Reserve? How did it not get up the chain of command that, you know, this guy's got problems? So that's what I'm interested in. I stand by keeping private information private. The Kennedy Amendment was about a fiduciary taking away Second Amendment rights. That's what that was about. And if we're going to take away Second Amendment rights, it needs to be done by a court, not by a fiduciary, not by some bureaucrat in an agency.